the United Kingdom Defence Equipment Sales Authority sells Royal Navy ships to Egypt for first time in more than 30 years. In a landmark deal, the United Kingdom has sold military vessels to Egypt for the first time in more than 30 years. The Royal Fleet Auxiliary ships, Fort Austin and Fort Rosalie, were sold by the Defence Equipment Sales Authority. Both Royal Navy solid support ships were released from service earlier this year. Their new lease of life could also support United Kingdom jobs, with negotiations underway for refurbishment work on the vessels before they are exported. Minister for Defence Procurement, Jeremy Quinn, said, Fort Austin and Fort Rosalie played an important role in sustaining our naval fleet for decades and I thank all involved in their essential work. As we nod to the past service of these ships, we can also look forward to the exciting future of welcoming our new fleet's solid support ships. Both the United Kingdom and Egyptian navies continue to strengthen relations to maintain peace and security in the region. Backed by the £24 billion investment announced last year, developing defence exports and investments is a key element to advancing global Britain and asserting United Kingdom defence in the face of evolving threats. The recent Integrated Review and Defence Command paper aids these ambitions by providing a strategic backbone for such commercial activity. Clive Walker, the head of Defence Equipment Sales Authority, which is part of Defence Equipment and Support, said, Defence Equipment Sales Authority is exceptionally happy to be working with the Egyptian Navy on the regeneration of two former Royal Fleet Auxiliary ships. This represents a tangible demonstration of the strengthening relationship between the two navies and the importance of the strategic relationship between the United Kingdom and Egypt. Fort Austin and Fort Rosalie have helped to ensure Navy personnel all over the world have the food, ammunition and explosives they need to carry out vital operations. The sister ships have two flight decks, which means as well as traditional replenishment at sea they are also able to use helicopters to offload supplies. Vice Admiral Chris Gardner, Defense Equipment and Support Director General Ships, said, Fort Austin and Fort Rosalie have both served the Royal Fleet Auxiliary, Royal Navy and many of our allies with distinction, across the globe both at peacetime and during conflict. Their sale to the Egyptian Navy, the first sale of United Kingdom military vessels to this partner in more than 30 years, represents both an investment in a United Kingdom partner nation and an opportunity to continue supporting our industry partners who will prepare these vessels to hand over, which is central to the successful national shipbuilding strategy. Fort Austin and Fort Rosalie will be replaced by the fleet's solid support ships, which will form part of the United Kingdom Carrier Strike Group. Four consortia successful at the pre-qualifying stage for the fleet's solid support build were awarded competitive procurement phase contracts to enable designs to be matured. The consortia are Larson and Tubro, which includes United Kingdom company Lidos Innovations, Serco, Damon, which includes United Kingdom company Serco, Team Resolute, which includes United Kingdom companies Harland and Wolf and BMT, and Team United Kingdom, which includes United Kingdom companies Babcock and BAE Systems.